Hey guys, it is Francesco here. Welcome to another video. It feels like ages that I haven't put one out on this YouTube channel, but this is the first one back in 2019, so I'm pretty excited. So guys, I want to talk to you today about a little bit of an experiment I'm having with my coffee shop expenditure. Now, I thought I'd tell you this tale because it might help many of you out there that are looking to crush a habit that is bad and improve it. So hopefully the process that I go through and the process that I'll be going through over the next couple of months will give you an idea on how to improve that and you can apply it to any of your situations. So my problem, the problem that I'm having is that I feel I'm spending too much in coffee shops every single month. Now, for those who don't know, I work uh, for myself at the moment, so naturally you've got to work from somewhere and I tend to spend most of my time in coffee shops. I don't have any office rents, so I guess it's a lot cheaper than still going there. And I do find that working in coffee shops is the most productive uh, method for me to work and I tend to get a lot of work done. So I've, I found out that it does work for me, but my problem is I spend too much money in coffee shops. I think I totaled it up. Per month, I spend between 80 and 100 pound in coffee shops. And I got, naturally, I'm there for like four or five hours across my day, so that's three or four teas a day. That can equate to between six and eight pound, and 30, up to 30 pound a week, roughly. Which, once you add up across a month, can get expensive. So naturally, I wanted to be able to crush that. I see that as a problem and I want to be able to reduce it. So after thinking about it a lot uh, over the, the Christmas break, I thought a good experiment would be for me to have a little bit more focus on, on exactly how much I'm spending per month on coffee shops. Because when you've got a traditional bank uh, like myself, I see all my expenditure go up, but I don't actually see uh, you know a breakdown of how much I spent on coffee shops. There are other apps to you know filter that out. But in this case, I actually want to be a bit more stricter. So what I've done, and this is my solution, I've created a Monzo account. So a Monzo account essentially is you get a debit card. It's a digital bank, so you get an app instead of having a branch uh, where you go and visit. This is maybe applicable to your country. I'll include a link to Monzo below because uh, I think you get some sort of discount if you sign up. So the concept behind this is I've created a new debit account that would allow me to add up to 50 pound a month now so that I have and can see all of my expenditure. The app, whenever I make a purchase, will log all of that and I'll be able to see where I'm spending my money, how much I've got left, and it also gives me a breakdown of how much I will be left with at the end of the month. Now, the reason I started with 50 pound in this case in January, because I started so late into it, it's 35, but the reason why I wanted to start that late in terms of uh, having 50 pound in there is because I've almost halved it already. And for example, in February, I can reduce this to 40 pound. So the goal behind this is to reduce my overheads when it comes to coffee shop spends and be a bit more frugal when I'm in coffee shops because I know that can cost a lot without breaking the bank. So the habit I'm introducing is the fact that I've got a new app that allows me to see uh, all of the expenditure I'm making. Plus, it's a app or a card only dedicated to actual coffee shop eating out versus dedicated to all of the other expenditure that I'm managing. So hopefully you can get an idea for where I'm trying to come from with this approach. Naturally, it's an experiment I'm going to be running over the next couple of months. So I will definitely let you know in a couple of months how things are going and how it has improved or leveled out at least my expenditure on coffee shop trips. So guys, hopefully, and let me know in the comments whether this was a useful video. I don't know whether it is a useful video. This channel is literally like my side of stuff. So I don't know what's good to put. So let me know in the comments whether this was useful, whether you'd like to see more videos like this. I'm just gonna be throwing out videos out there. So anyone in the feedback or in the comments can recommend that I stick, 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 the stick to a stick to a specific topic because if I able to, then you guys will you know like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. Make sure to hit subscribe if you are a brand new subscriber here on the channel, and I will see you guys very very soon.